I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be talking about Jonathan Strange and Mr. Denarelle by Susanna Clark. This book takes place in sort of an alternate universe, England in the early 1800s, where practical magicians seem to have disappeared and now there are only theoretical magicians. So basically there's no one who actually practices magic but they just study magic. But then one day this man, Mr. Norell, seems to appear and he is the first practical magician to appear in a very long time. And then eventually a second magician, Jonathan Strange, comes into the picture as well and they form a weird friendship and rivalry. They're basically frenemies and you sort of just follow the story about them over a certain period of time. I've had this book for almost a year now and I have never picked it up because it is a giant book. It's over 800 pages. It is just very intimidating. With books that are over like 500 pages I feel like I need to give them like a solid go. Like if I can only read 20 pages a day I'm going to get really frustrated reading a 800 page novel but if there's one day where I can read a good like 100 or 200 pages and then just go on from there I do a lot better so over Thanksgiving break I decided to pick this one and give it a go so that way I can finally move it from my to be read list to read list. I have heard a lot of people talk about this book and really love this book and I have to say I didn't really love it. I liked it but I didn't love it. I think part of the thing is actually its length. This book is divided into three parts and I feel like if each of these three parts were separate novels I probably would have liked it more but I think by the end of this book I was just feeling kind of worn out. It felt a little bit like running a marathon and then by the last mile or so you just want to be done with it already. So when I was reading this book I loved it for like the first 400 and 500 pages but then after that point it just felt a little bit overdone. There were parts of the story that I didn't really like there's a part where Jonathan Strange is helping out with the English army. All of that storyline I found not particularly interesting to me. The most interesting parts to me were when Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell were together when they were either fighting against each other or working with each other. Either way, as long as they were together, I just really liked their relationship a lot. I actually enjoyed Mr. Norrell specifically more than Jonathan Strange. I'm not sure if that's just because we're introduced to Mr. Norrell first or if it's because I actually like Mr. Norrell's character more, but I found him to be a lot more of an interesting person. And then Jonathan Strange, I found Strange to just be really arrogant about his ways, which doesn't make sense because if it, Mr. Norrell is definitely really arrogant as well, but there's something about his neuroses that you can tell that he is really flawed character and I guess Strange's is flawed in a different way that doesn't really appeal to me. I think that just a personal preference of mine is that books not be more than 500 pages because honestly after the 500 and 600 page mark I found myself skimming more than actually reading and then by the end I didn't really care about what happened. This book has a writing style that a lot of people compare to Jane Austen novels and I can definitely see that connection but I would actually say that this feels more like a Charles Dickens novel which might be another reason why I didn't like it because I'm not a big Charles Dickens fan. But I would say that if you do like Charles Dickens and you like that style of writing definitely read this. If you're someone who really likes sort of like epic fantasy novels this is definitely one to pick up. I think this book was interesting but I didn't fall in love with it the way I was sort of hoping to. In the end I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It was worth reading but it is a book where if I didn't have that long weekend to knock out a good 400 pages at first I probably wouldn't have liked it as much because it was just taking so long but luckily because I had that time I didn't feel like I wasted time or anything like that having to deal with a big book. So yeah those are my thoughts on Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. If you have read this book feel free to leave your comments down below or if you're interested in reading this book leave any questions or anything like that that you might have in the comments as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.